Hi, I'm John Prendergast. In this short video, I want to explain to you a little bit about how the mind works when we're not actually getting stuff done. Because this is something that occurs a huge amount for people in life. And particularly when I work with sports people, with politicians, with people in industry who have great ideas and great ambitions and find that they're just not quite achieving what they want, it's usually down to what's happening in the mind. What the block is, what the thing that's diverting us from the feeling that we need, that motivation that we need to really carry on and achieve things. So if we take a quick look just at the human brain here, this is a tool that we're all using. It's always working for our best interests, but sometimes it doesn't know what we want to do, or it gives us the wrong feeling. If you think about it, any time that you have sat down or planned out time to do something concrete that would really make a difference in your life, but where you haven't followed through on that, I will guarantee you there was a bad feeling that came with that. It might have been a feeling in your gut or chest, it might have just been a feeling of low motivation, or one of those sort of, oh God, not this feelings that we get so much of the time. But what's happening in our minds when that occurs is something very specific and very special. If we look at this brain, we can see this area here, which is the prefrontal cortex, this is the part that's active when we're doing good thinking, clear thinking, planning stuff effectively. It's the part that pattern matches for success. But when we have a bad feeling around something, and that could be being gun shy, maybe a previous business didn't go well, so we're now hesitant about that, or maybe we're just not confident in ourselves about putting ourselves out there in that way, or it could be any other reason that holds us back. But if that reason is generating a bad feeling, then the part of our mind that becomes active is here, the central area that's involved in self-preservation. And your brain is working flat out to help you at that point, but it's using the wrong information. Whenever the mind feels that there's a danger, any bad feeling can be taken and used as part of that danger. It mistakes feeling sad, feeling guilty, feeling overwhelmed, feeling stressed as a potential danger. And it activates this part of our brain, which is there to keep us safe. But if you think about it, that's the part that does crisis management, that does quick thinking, and that does how do we deal with something immediately. It's totally different in its outlook to that prefrontal cortex where we actually get to look forward. This part of our mind is interested in survival now. If somebody came in with a knife and tried to mug us, we'd be thinking, can I get past them? Can I hit them with something? Can I get out the window? Very fit, quick, very shallow thinking. And that's what this part of the brain is excellent at. It's a brilliant part of the brain. It does wonderful work for, in a, uh, for us in a real crisis. But if we're not in a real crisis, but it feels a bit like one, there's a bad feeling driving it, it drives us into this part of the brain. And this part of the brain pattern matches for how am I going to get out of this alive? What's the danger? And it goes through worst case scenarios. Once we're feeling bad, once we're stressed and in this part of the mind, we will see 10 ways for something to fail before we see one way for it to succeed. And a huge part of my work as a mind coach is getting people to actually be able to just switch that in their mind so that you're not dragged down by that old bad feeling, that you're able to reduce that bad feeling and increase feelings which will activate your prefrontal cortex because this is the part of your brain that's going to find success for you. Combined with strategies and techniques to actually get you focused, productive, and doing what you want to do to a better level, this is a magnificent way of getting your mind, your life, and your energy together going into the thing that you want for just better results. So have a think about it. What is it that you're holding back from? Notice the patterns. Do you find it easier to distract yourself with games or television or just doing work that's busy work but not the thing that you want to achieve? Notice those times look for the bad feeling, address the bad feeling, reduce the bad feeling, you'll find success much easier. Hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please get in touch, and I look forward to seeing you in another video soon.